Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the series here. Now in this video, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to focus on uh, flex pitch in Logic Pro X. So let's go ahead and get started. We have this uh, piece of audio right here. Uh, sounds okay, but definitely needs some work. Let's go ahead and listen to it and then we'll start working with flex pitch to, uh, you know, fix this up. Single mistake, cause you're with me now, and your heart won't break. Cause we can't make a single myth. Okay, so it sounds okay, definitely can use some work. Let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, first thing you're gonna want to do is go up to the top and um, show your flex button. Awesome. So, any piece of audio that you have, you can go ahead and uh, now enable flex, flex time or flex pitch. So, here we are. Uh, right now, the first thing it's uh, under is uh, flex time. We're going to change that to flex pitch. Cool. And now we have these new, um, I'm going to call them pitch transients. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the entire region. Oh, looks like I got outside of the, there we are. And now I can select all these right over here. Awesome. So I have all these uh, new flex transients selected. And the closer that I grab and move them to the center, the closer to perfect pitch they're going to be. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that sounded a little strange, but trust me, it did the trick. Let's go ahead and uh, listen. We can't make a single mistake Cause you're with me now And your heart won't break So there's still some sour notes th there But we're going to go ahead and fix them But before we do that I'm going to go ahead and do a undo And show you an alternative way Of uh, setting these to perfect pitch All you need to do is After you selected the area or regions uh, Or pitches that you want to go ahead and adjust Control click and set to perfect pitch Look how simple that was. Okay, so now let's get into some more um, deeper editing. Let's uh, double click on this area. Cool. So under the track uh, information, now we see uh, the waveform uh, behind these squares that kind of remind us of MIDI. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, listen to the track again and see which notes don't seem right and then we'll go ahead and grab and move them like pieces of MIDI. We can't make a single mistake cause you're with me now and you're hot. So where I say now doesn't seem right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it and move it to this note down here. Let's go back and with me now and a little bit better. Let's go ahead and uh, hit play. And your heart won't. So heart definitely sounded funny. Let's go back a little bit. Heart won't. With me now. And your heart won't. Too high. With me now, and your heart won't break. A little bit better. Okay, hit play again. Break, cause we can't make a single mistake. Cause you're with me now, and your. I think now sound a little funny. Let's go back. With me now. And me now and uh, okay maybe I just need a pitch drift it just a little bit and what pitch drift does essentially just uh, connects the uh, two notes a little bit nicer let's go back 
with me now and that's better okay so you could uh, use pitch drift on the onset of a note to connect to the offset of a note and vice versa you can connect a uh, right here at the top uh, pitch drift to uh, the offset of a note to the onset of one and basically helps things sound a little bit smoother uh, which I just did so that's going to be uh, this uh, top right hand side and this uh, top left hand side then you have something right here fine pitch if it's a little bit off uh, you can go ahead and bring it let's say if it was right there you can go ahead and just adjust it to zero and once it's at zero it's at perfect pitch cool uh, next what we have here is uh, the formant shift so if you bring this low or high basically changes the tonality of that note so if I bring it really really low I'm gonna sound uh, really really deep let's go let's go back and hear this with me no. and let's go to move that back I'll go ahead and show you again all the way at the top so you can hear how that sounds with me no. and with me no. and kind of sounds like a chipmunk or something like that um, let's go ahead and check out the vibrato can make this really extreme with me now and you okay so you can change some of the timbre um, of a pitch and uh, and then lastly you have the gain let's go ahead and adjust this up and down so you see you can make things louder or quieter you said something too quiet bring up the gain really that simple go ahead and hear it with me now and your heart that was a little subtle let's make it a little louder actually you know what quieter is better so that it doesn't hurt your guys's ears if you're listening to headphones or speakers with me now and so definitely you can hear the change there let's go back to zero awesome Let's see if there's any other notes that were still off. And your heart won't. With me now, and your heart won't. Won't break. Okay, so it sounds uh, pretty much fine for right now. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds like with the other instruments now. It's weak. Okay, cool. So now we have an idea of some of the parameters and some of the things that you could do with flex pitch, but there's really so much more that you can do with flex pitch, which I'm going to show you in another video. I'm going to show you basically how to get uh, specific sections that you've already uh, corrected and then double them and then create a harmony. Uh, so that's going to be really great for choruses and things like that. And I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.